Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting video for you today. So today I have live swatches of ILNP's new haunted collection, which is their Halloween 2021 nail polish collection. This collection consists of six polishes. They all have different formulas. Before I get started showing you the polishes, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And let's get into the video. So we're going to start with Tombstone. Tombstone is a bone gray polish with copper metallic flakes. And it also has a little bit of scattered holographic in there. So when you step out into the sun, you're going to see this one really sparkle. But inside, it looks really awesome. I really love the formula on this polish. You know, ILNP has really great formulas. There was no running or pooling with this one. It was completely opaque and only two easy coats. And I really love this one. This one's going to look really great in the Halloween fall season. The next polish is Spellbound. This is a hypnotic pairing, teal to green, color shifting pigments amplify a deep and darkened teal base enriched with contrast and sparkle. So this one is like a multi-chrome type polish. Um, as you move your nails, you can see the shift between like a dark blue, teal, uh, dark purple-ish color. Really cool polish. It looks also kind of metallic-y. Um, and it also has a little bit of holographic in there. So this polish has a lot going on and I think it's really unique. I really, really like this shade. Great formula, opaque in only two coats. There was no running or pooling and it looks great in all different types of lighting. Next up is Carrie. Carrie is a deep blood red holographic nail polish and it also has a striking red to orange shift. So again, this one had a really great formula. I didn't have any problems with running or pooling. I just didn't apply this polish very well. It was completely opaque in two coats and just like I said, it's like a really nice scattered holographic. Um, but this one also looks like really great in darker lighting. You know how sometimes holographics can look like weird when you're not out in the sun, but this one doesn't look like that. I was a little bit disappointed because I couldn't see that strong orange yellow shift that you can see in the bottle. You can't really see that on the nails, but overall this is a really nice polish. Jinx is a deep purple jelly polish filled with iridescent shifting flakes and holographic micro flakes throughout this was my least favorite in the collection but i still like it if that makes sense um i'm not really huge into jelly bases and this one does have that deep jelly base um it kind of applied a little bit unevenly you can see that some spots are darker, some spots are lighter. But overall, after I finish applying the three coats, it will take three coats to be completely opaque. Um, it looks good after I finish applying all three coats. But again, it didn't apply as evenly as I liked it to. But the formula was good, no running or pooling. Very shiny, but still apply top coat. The flakes were pretty easy to remove and overall really nice look at the end. Next up is Black Magic. This is a deep black holographic nail polish. So this polish was very interesting to me because it is a black holographic nail polish. But when I had it on my nails, for some reason, it looked like it might have been blue or like might have been purple. It didn't just look like a black hollow, which is really weird. And I don't know like if it was just me, but when I had it, 
on all my nails. It just, it didn't look completely black. It looked like there was another shade in there. But this one's more of a linear holographic. So when you take this one out in the sun, you will have that intense hollow flame. The formula was really good. Almost opaque in one coat, but I did apply two coats. I do think you will need two coats of this polish, but really good formula. So I really like this one. Next is Trick or Treat. This is a vibrant pumpkin orange filled with an array of reflective silver flakes. So this was a surprising favorite for me. I really, really like this polish. The formula was amazing. It applied completely in only two coats and it's just so unique. It's like packed full of flakes and I really like this color. I literally have nothing like this in my collection. The formula was amazing, no running or pooling. And you do need a really thick top coat for this one. Um, and it is more difficult to remove because of all of the flakes, but a really great polish. So I definitely suggest this one. And that is the end of my video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. These polishes release October 1st on ILNP's website. I will leave that information in the description below. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell for notifications of when I upload my videos. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.